These desert wildflowers are called Prince's Plume. There's Lake Tahoe. We're on the Nevada side. That's actually California on the other side of it. State line pretty much goes right through the middle of it. Right, Incline Village along Lake Tahoe. And you can see this spring flowering crab apple is running a little late being in the mountains. And it's the first week in June and there it is. The snow's kind of dirty, but it still feels cool, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> highway. There's still a little snow up there. We're turning off to Joy Lake Road. We're at the Browns Creek Trailhead near Galena, Nevada, and this is our spread today. Unfortunately, she didn't make any cookies this week. She had a lot of busy family stuff to take care of, So, but we got a good spread. Hi, everybody. There's no picnic table, but we just made do with, with what's here, and we put a, a sheet over the, the bench here, and uh, we're really enjoying the pine trees today. Glad you could join us. Okay, everybody, we're at the Browns Creek Trailhead, and uh, we're not too far from the Galena area, which is the south side of the city of Reno. And we're basically between there and Mount Rose and Lake Tahoe. So here's the, the map and where we'd be going. And it is a, a Washoe County Regional Park open space. Here's a map of the Browns Creek Trail. And we are here and we're gonna go along like this, all the way down here. And then we're gonna go around this loop over Browns Creek 
and we're gonna cut back and go the same way back. How long do you say it was take about three hours? Yeah. Here's the Browns Creek Trail. Now, uh, mountain bikes and uh, dogs that are under voice command are on leash, and also those on horseback are allowed on this trail, but no motorized vehicles. Oh, beautiful day. It smells like pine trees. So the trail starts right in an almost a residential area. It's a very exclusive homes tucked in the pine trees. Very nice. And it's also very nice that some private property owners are allowing the public to use some sections of this trail. Those mountain bikers were very courteous to let us know that they were coming and there's a nice butterfly for everybody. Here's the new interstate bypass bridge, another shot of it. If you're traveling between Carson City and Reno, you'll go across that most likely. But this is looking at it from the basically the northeast, or you could say the east. Look at that spot where they've got a really nice house. You probably see for miles from up there. Really nice. You can see the bridge in the distance. There's a mountain biker with his dog. Look at him go. Whew. <laughs> that didn't take him long at all, did it? Yeah, scary. There's a mule's ear, so you can tell because it's soft to the touch, furry. You can really see the highway now from here. Oh, yeah. Yep. You can see this well-maintained water tower along the route, and there's still a little bit of snow up in the Sierra. There's a good view of Galena, which is South Reno. One thing Kelly, and I've noticed about this trail is that there's a few, quite a few people on here. It's not crowded though, but everyone's been very courteous and respectful. All the dogs have been well behaved and it's just a real pleasure to hike when other uh, users and hikers are being so courteous like that. Just makes it all pleasant for everybody. Kelly, even those mountain bikers were courteous when they came by, weren't they? Oh yeah. They slowed down and Gave us a wide berth and everything. That was nice. This is a really nice trail to walk on. No loose rock, slightly elevated, but not too steep. It's easy on the feet. Yeah. This is not very far at all from the urban area. It's just right on the edge of it. Yeah, that's true. And it's really, really nice and pleasant. saw a little toad go by. I was going to pick him up to show everybody, but he was having none of that and he went under some rocks. I couldn't catch him.
you can see where the mountain bikers come over off the trail here and they jump this rock. That looks fun. There's Reno in the distance, looking north through the trees. And here we are, beautiful nature amongst the pines. There's a little bit of snow up on that ridge. Nice little patch of lupin. So quiet. There's Reno in the distance. This is the spur that leads to the vista. We'll go down here and see what the vista looks like. So historic Virginia City is just up in there in those hills. Kelly's just behind us. She's making good time. There's a view of the mountain. That's Washoe City in the distance near Washoe Lake. And then swinging around, we're looking towards Mount Rose. That's a big ski area at the top of that mountain called Mount Rose. And the highway that goes alongside the mountain is called Nevada 431. See it hugging the mountain side. Here's the Browns Creek Loop. We're gonna go to the right go up towards Mount Rose and cut back. These are mountain mahogany trees. They usually like it a little bit on the dry side in the drier hills, right there. Another type of flower the butterflies on.
That kid's getting a drink. Some pretty aspen along this section of the trail, which is near the creek. I guess Kelly crossing the creek, little bridge. Let's go across this little creek, it's a cute one. That was a cute little creek. There's aspen trees with their brand new leaves for the year. That's where the trail loops around by the creek. We're going around through this. Looks like the mountain bikers can have their hands full in this section. They sure look fluffy, like cotton candy. If you want to keep going to the U.S. forest and go on and on for who knows long, go that way. If not, you go down this Ground Creek Trail loop and you'll get your five miles in. We're making the loop across the creek again and this time there's two little bridges to get across just big enough for a bicycle or one person Well, we're at the end of the trailhead. What do you think of that hike, Kelly? I thought it was a great hike. Yeah. Would you do it again? Recommend oh, it? Yeah, definitely. We're heading up the Mount Rose Highway, and surprisingly, or not surprisingly, this is actually, uh, they have a lot of wrecks on this road. It's supposed to be uh, a, quite a dangerous road for the state of Nevada. This is the main route to get up to Mount Rose ski area during the winter. Now we're heading up to the top of Mount Rose on the Mount Rose Highway. 
Here's the Mount Rose Ski Resort at 8,260 feet. 8260, where the snow is. It's in the first part of June. There's still a little snow up here. There's the ski run. This is a popular spot in the winter. That's the peak just north of the Mount Rose ski area. Very rugged. the Mount Rose ski area. We're about 14 miles from Lake Tahoe. Still a little bit of snow up here. Not too far from the Mount Rose summit which does have some snow on it. And there's Lake Tahoe in the distance. There's Lake Tahoe. That's Incline Village and all the little boats tied up to their mooring buoys.
Do you need any hollyhocks in your garden? Uh, I've got quite a few, but they don't look quite as good as yours. That's the little hollyhock patch in the backyard in the morning, in the summertime. Early June. Okay, this is the desert mallow, and I like these, so I'm going to collect some of the seed head. Look at that. That's pretty. That's a yucca. Yeah, it should bloom in the next couple days. Yeah, it looks like it real soon. There's the flowers all opened on it now. I ran the rain gutter downspout right into the front little rose garden to keep it watered. That's a little tiny grape bud just starting to grow. And that's a bare root cutting. That's how big they are when you first get them. Then they start to grow and get a little bit bigger. And a little bit more. And it starts scrambling up on the top of the arbor. Look at the size of the leaves on this grape. This is one really bad pest of grapes. They can defoliate a whole grapevine in short order. This is the western version of it. The grape leaf skeletonizer. Dun, dun, dun. I just have to finish up these cross members going across this way and I'll be done. That's a purple robe locust tree with the flowers on it. It doesn't need to be fertilized because it makes its own nitrogen. <laughs> 